All right, guys, so today we're studying What's Up by Four Non Blondes. I wanted to go over some extra details with you on this song. Uh, the first thing we're going to learn is I'm playing an A chord at the beginning of this song. And you'll notice, possibly in the video, I'm only using two fingers to do that. I can actually hold down the three strings, second, third, and fourth string, all at the second fret with two fingers. A lot of guys might need to use three, but I am covering the second and third string with my middle finger, kind of in an angle, and then picking up the fourth string with my index finger. So don't be confused, I am holding the second, third, and fourth strings down at the second fret, plus including the open fifth string and the open first string for my A chord. All right, now this is key, I didn't go over this in the first video. The rhythm on the initial A chord is different than everywhere else in the song. The rhythm is going to be like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so a little bit different. It's where I'm putting the quarter note. If you're looking at the tab sheets, which I know you've already printed out your tab sheet. If you haven't, print out the tab sheet right now and then get back to me on the video. All right, so what we're going to do here is the third quarter note. That is a note value that would be just a single line as opposed to the little tail on it is placed in a different spot on the first time through. So we're gonna go quarter, eight, eight, quarter, eight, eight, quarter, eight, quarter. Then we're gonna do eights. So the rhythm again is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so that's how we do the first one. We'll never do that rhythm again in this song. It's gonna be totally different after that. I played it that way in the initial video, but I did not talk about it. So that was just for you members, a little bit of detail on this song. All right, so the rhythm for the rest of the song will go like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So a little bit different rhythm there. It's a little bit busier towards the end where you have a down, up, down, up very quickly. And that would be eight, eight, eight quarter on that. And that's illustrated in measure five of your tab sheet there when I'm playing the B minor. All right, so what we're doing on B minor is something that looks like this. You also notice the last down up on every one of these measures, including the first or the second measure where we're playing the A chord, is going to be an up down up where we're doing upstroke on the chord and we're doing a down up on a chord that's listed as G6A. That's actually a breath chord. We've talked about this in some other songs here at Guitar Animal. And that's basically strings one through five open. So I'm going to play it with those open and I'm going to play it without those open. And you'll notice the difference. So with the opens, and it'll be towards the end, right before the chord change. not putting the opens in. That was just playing the chord solid throughout each one of the pieces. So now I'm going to go back and play it with the open. And you'll notice it really adds something to the song, putting those breath chords between it. So I'm going to do it slowly now. watched the original video of this from back in the 90s and if you watch Linda Perry she's a singer and the, the guitar player playing you will notice that she's picking her hand up on these chords when the camera is on her and she's doing the chord switch so make sure you pay attention to that other chords in this song besides the A were of course the D minor which I covered pretty well in the first video but I will just tell you what I'm playing here I'm playing the second fret of the fifth and the first strings I'm playing the third fret of the second and the fourth fret of the third and fourth strings so that's strings from this fifth string, two, four, four, three, two, that's B minor. We're going to a chord called D, A. It's just like a regular D chord, which is second fret on the first string, third fret on the second, second fret on the third string, fourth string open, but I'm including the open fifth string. One trick that you might want to do on this because you don't want to hear the sixth string is just have your thumb reach around the top and just barely touch the sixth string. So when you're strumming back and forth, if you hit it, not, it will not sound out. It's D A, and then of course the G six A, which is just the open first through fifth string, and then back to the A chord, 
which is of course the open first, open fifth, and second fret of the second, third, and fourth strings. Again, the rhythm is going to be the same for the entire song except the first measure. That rhythm for the entire song is this. We're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, where the last down, up is on open strings. All right, I'm Trent with GuitarAnimal.com. Comments in the section below. Love to hear from you members. Thanks for being members of GuitarAnimal.com. Let us know what you think of this song as well as anything else we're doing here. And make sure you check out the video. It's a cool video from the past.